Okay, so life's too short to play bad reads, and I want to show you one way you can adjust uh, the reads for a clarinet player. And I've got a bunch of reads here, and I went through them, and I tried to find one that uh, wasn't working so good. And then we're going to adjust it a little bit and see if we can make it a little bit better. So let's try this. <laughs> So it's real stuffy, hard to play, not fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, and I've already wet it. It's already pre-moistened so I could play it, but I'm just going to wet it a little more and then take it and uh, put it on the glass and just kind of rub the moisture off of it just so there's not any excess moisture. And I've got a piece of glass here that I bought at the hardware store, and they cut it for me, and I just kind of wrapped it in tape so it wouldn't have a sharp edge. I've got uh, 220 grit sandpaper. This is uh, not the wet dry sandpaper, but you can get the wet dry sandpaper, but it doesn't much matter because you don't use it a whole lot. And, and, uh, so what I do is I, I moisten it, take off the excess. I'm going to take and wet my finger just a little bit so it'll give me a better grip on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers on both sides of it, lightly press, and just rub it straight across. Do it again. Lightly press, rub it straight across. Now, if you rub too hard, it'll get stuck. You won't be able to move it. So you've got to have a real light touch, slide it straight across. And that's all I'm going to do. You can see on the back of this, when you, when you look at it, that um, some of the bamboo has been taken off on this side, which shows me that the, um, it was a little bit, it had a little bit of a bulge on this side over here. Okay, so I took a little bit off and now it's flat on the back, which should make it a little bit more aerodynamic. Gets rid of some of the sawdust and try it again. Now some reeds are just bad and those we just throw away. But if you can adjust them and make them better, you might be able to make them into a reed that's okay to practice on but you wouldn't want to perform in it. And you can make it into a reed that's a performance reed, one you want people to hear. And so it's a little bit easier to play, um, but still stuffy to hear. You can hear a little bit of airiness, a little bit of wispiness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it again. Now if you take off too much, it'll be soft and it won't be in tune, it'll be too soft. But That's okay because if you make it too soft, you just throw it away. So let's try it again. bad. There's other things you can do to it to, um, to try to make it play a little bit better. I've not had a whole lot of success with it, but you want to make sure that the edge on the reed is the same thickness all the way around. And sometimes you'll have it a little bit thicker on one side than it is on the other. And this seems to be real thick on the edges, just pressing it against my thumbnail. It seems to be thick on the edges and a good thickness in the middle. So what I'm going to take here and do is just to take and tear off a little piece of sandpaper. And I'm going to take and I'm going to rub the edges, not much, and rub the edges on this side. Okay. Just to see if I can thin it out on the edges so it'll be the same thickness. All the way around. And I can feel now that I probably went too much on this side because it really bends when I press it against my thumbnail more than so this and this. So I'm going to take a little bit more off on the other side. Just a little bit. I'm going to try it. Again, if you, take, if you take off too much, 
Well, you've just made a bad read worse. I don't recommend that you change good reads. If you've got a good read and it's working, leave it alone. But if you've got a bad read, you might be able to make it into a good read.